Hello, I'm Brent Gardner, and this is the NRA ILA Grassroots News Minute for Friday, May 29th. Here with today's first story is correspondent Susan Christman. Thanks, Brent. Recently, NRA backed legislation to restore the Second Amendment rights of law-abiding citizens in national parks and wildlife refuges passed in the U.S. House of Representatives by an overwhelming bipartisan majority of 279 to 147, and last week the measure was signed into law. As specified in the legislation, it will take effect in nine months on February 22, 2010. This was a major repudiation of the gun control community's anti-self-defense agenda. This bill provides consistency across our nation's federal lands and puts an end to the patchwork of regulations that govern different lands managed by different federal agencies. NRA has been working for the past several years in the regulatory, legal, and legislative arenas to achieve this policy change. This move restores the rights of law-abiding gun owners who wish to transport and carry firearms for lawful purposes on most Department of Interior lands and makes federal law consistent with the state law in which these lands are located. And now back to you, Brent. Thanks, Susan. This week, President Barack Obama has nominated Judge Sonia Sotomayor to the United States Supreme Court. The NRA has reviewed Judge Sotomayor's judicial opinions on issues related to the Second Amendment, which are very limited. However, gun owners are rightly concerned that she served on the three-judge panel in the case of Maloney v. Cuomo, in which the Second Circuit said this year that the Second Amendment does not apply to the states. While we recognize that the decision was based on Supreme Court precedent, it is clear that those 19th century cases have been overtaken by more recent case law and scholarship. A fact the Ninth Circuit recognized last month in the landmark case of Nordyke versus King. Given the high probability that this issue will come before the Supreme Court in the near future, the NRA looks forward to a full and open review of Judge Sotomayor's record on this issue during the confirmation process. For more information on these stories and for up-to-date legislative alerts, please visit www.nraila.org.